today on Dining with Dusky, we're going to be making a box cherry cheesecake. First, you're going to get some butter. And you're just going to cut half, yep, just like that. And then, boom, four tablespoons of butter. You're going to drop it in a bowl, important. Then, two tablespoons of sugar. That's not salt, that is sugar. Uh, and then, you're just going to put this crusty, powdery stuff on top. Yep, it, it comes in the box. Super easy. Then, burn your fingertips off as you microwave the butter four times and then pour that butter in there mix this up it's going to look like sand in fact it might actually be sand wet sand the kind of sand you could build a sand castle out of but instead of building a sand castle we're going to make a little pile here and then we're going to smash it into the ground and make it look more like the beach and you're just going to fill your your pie bowl pie plate in i don't even know what you call this thing and then boom here is the crack i mean this is cheesecake powder uh, yep, it is 100% cheesecake dust, and you're gonna put some milk in there, and then you're gonna you're gonna just beat it with this electric mixer. Yep, keep going, mix it up. It's gonna get real uh, mixed, uh huh, like that. And then boom, look how it's thickening up, and look at that. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. And you're just gonna just gonna throw it into your beached crust here, the sandy beach crust, and you're just gonna smooth the top out. Look at that. It looks like a fourth grade art project. Yes. Oh, look at all those smooth edges perfect circle. This looks like something you could put on the front of a, oh, and then you refrigerate it. That's important. Simplest step. You don't do anything. It sits for an hour. You get it out. Boom. Look at that. There's crust in the cheesecake. Who, who did this? Oh, yep. And make sure you find the cherry filling that they don't give you nearly enough of. And you're just going to glob it on there. You don't want it to look appealing at all. In fact, you want to do this in just a random pattern on top of the cheesecake. Make it as unappetizing as possible, if possible, as I'm doing here, very obviously. And you're just gonna squeeze it all out. You're gonna make it way more work than it needs to be uh, because for some reason you started at the front and not the back. And it's gonna see like, seem like, how did they fit so little cherry filling in there and yet it's taking me so long to empty it? That's a great question. I don't know. Uh, and so you just, you're going to want to put it on there. It, it's going to look a little bit like a crime scene. Yeah, get that last cherry out that's somehow stuck at the back. And then you're just going to shake it off. Where's the shake? Right there. Nothing came out. Okay, great. Good job. Uh, and then you're going to wander around your kitchen for a little bit. This is a critical step. I highly advise. Don't know what you're doing. Maybe you're looking for a spoon. Ah, yes, that's right. You're looking for a spoon so you can spread out this already thin layer of cherry filling that's not enough to cover the top of your cheesecake. So you're just gonna, yep, you're gonna spread it around the edges like this. And you gotta be careful here because it's easy to spread it too thin because it was already too thin before you even started spreading it. So it basically takes a little bit of magic here. You'll notice a lot of thin spots, but just kind of move those cherries around, make it look like you're doing something you're supposed to be doing. Pat it down, that didn't help. There you go, put the spoon down, boom, do a dance, slightly off camera, not realizing that no one can basically see you. And uh, yep, there you go, wave your hand at the cheesecake. Talk to your wife for a moment, or your spouse, you know, whoever that might be, or your cat if you're single. Walk around the room some more. Who knows what you're doing at this point. Ah, uh, maybe uh, another spoon? No, no, you remember the plates are in the other cabinet, so you go to the other cabinet while the camera focuses in deeply on a thin cherry filling on top of your cheesecake and then boom you got the plates but you forgot yep you need a knife can't cut this with your hands all right wait nope you didn't grab the knife all right here we go now you might you might actually have the knife this time oh yep yeah, we do all right and that's way sharper than we need but we're still gonna struggle uh, all right here we go and into the cheesecake we go yep it looks like we're cutting concrete, even though this is soft cheesecake. And look at that motion that you don't need. And somehow you're going to get to the edge looking like you're struggling. Boom. And why'd you reverse cut? Nobody should do that ever. But we did. And here we go. Uh, look at that. At least we know the cheesecake filling is solid. Here we go. That crust is not solid, though. Remember, it's like sand on the beach. In we go. Cutting two tiny little slices out. It's the exact portion you need. And then the reverse cut. Why did we do that? And look at that. Somehow you've made this abomination look worse. But perfect for family holidays uh, or random YouTube videos. Uh, I'm gonna probably eat most of this myself over the next week. And the next week I will just be filled with regret, sadness, and an extra half pound of fat. 
That's okay. So here we go. We're getting out this slice, and I'm actually impressed. This comes out fairly well, you know? I mean, that, that's not the most beautiful piece of cheesecake I've ever seen. Hold it slightly off camera. Good call. And you're gonna just dig in right there at the top, and boom, eat it even farther off camera. And in a moment, you're gonna give a thumbs up that no one can see, but I assure you, my thumb was up. It was delicious. Boom, there's that thumbs up. Could have been a fist bump. Nobody knows. Just take my word for it. And there you go. Cheesecake.